With me today is my new favorite family cooler, the Blue Cooler 60 quart, whatever the hell. Yeah, 60 quart ice chest, ice bolt, whatever marketing gimmick name they have. And then the Pelican uh, 65 quart cooler. Now, obviously, between these two coolers, we want to figure out which one you should buy. And we're going to base that off the uh, a few simple metrics. Basically, A, which one holds ice the best? Uh, which one is the easiest and best to live with? And um, eh, that pretty much might be about it. Now, before I dive into the product review, this is a no BS channel. We do not get paid for these reviews and they are not sponsored. That means we bought both of these coolers with our own money. We do that so you can get an unbiased, honest review as to which one you should buy yourself. So if you want more honest product reviews, please hit that like and subscribe button as we produce content weekly. We're gonna do the ice retention test. Now the test is really quite simple. I got 60 pounds of ice, but 30 pounds of ice per cooler from 7-Eleven. We're going to dump them into both coolers and see which one lasts the longest. And then from here, it's really quite simple. I'll put both coolers in the garage and then I'm gonna test them a few times a day, making sure that they get opened up at least two or three times a day because practically speaking, that's what you would do in real life. Anyway, they're gonna sit in my garage for a couple days and we're gonna see which one melts quicker. And obviously, whichever one has more ice in it after the end of a few days wins. All right, now while, the, while these two coolers are baking away in the sun and then subsequently my garage, I do wanna talk about some pretty stark differences between the two of them. See, the thing is, is while they are in a similar weight, size, and class, and even kind of look the same, they're not made for the same purpose. Now, the thing is, is on this channel, I like to be as unbiased as possible. So, uh, to be fair, the Pelican is really kind of designed more for like your outdoorsman that like gets attacked by bears. And the Blue Cooler is sort of your everyday family man's cooler. Still though, they're similar enough where they warrant a test drive because at the end of the day, you could pretty much use both of these coolers for similar purposes with the exception of the bear thing. I'll get into that later on. But the bottom line is, is that there is going to be a clear winner and it's worth letting you as the consumer know which one is the best. Let's take a look at both of these coolers a little bit up close. See, they both have a handle on the side. It kind of even acts the same way. They both have the wheels on the side. The Pelican, it's funny, the Pelican's almost just like sort of a mirror, mirror uh, image of the, uh, of the blue cooler. But anyway, the Pelican has these big, these kind of big ass tires here on the, uh, the left, which, you know, you'd think would be making, make them a little bit better on the beach, but it actually doesn't. I don't want to say necessarily makes it worse, but it certainly does not enhance the experience at all. Pelican has these big, robust locks, which, I mean, these are damn near nuclear bomb proof, much less bear proof. Whereas I had lauded the blue cooler in the Yeti video where it was competing against the Yeti for these very awesome sort of like lash down lock systems. Both are certainly easy to, uh, to operate, but where these coolers differ is certainly in their size and form factor. See, the thing is, is while the Pelican cooler is only about four, I'm sorry, five quarts bigger than the blue cooler, it doesn't really act like it. It is a little bit cumbersome to move this thing around. I actually like the handle design on the blue cooler a little bit better. It just feels a little bit smoother, a little bit easier to manage. This one, it just feels kind of cheap and plasticky. Well, it is cheap and plasticky. And it just doesn't really give you a good way to sort of operate. In fact, it kind of squeaks. I don't even know if you can hear that, but but the, the, uh, the handle, which is metal on the blue cooler, just is a whole lot better. And for a bear-proof cooler, I just expected maybe a little bit more. The other thing to note between the two of them is that the Pelican is, even though it's only five quarts bigger, is significantly, uh, has a significant bigger footprint than the blue cooler. Now, ultimately that means that you can fit more stuff in it, which is nice, but I don't really know if you're gonna be able to fit so much more stuff that it's worth the extra size. Because the reason why it is bigger isn't just because it's, of course, five quarts bigger. It is so much bigger because it is, in fact, bear proof, made for the whole like bear proof thing. And what that pretty much means is a fancy way to say that this thing is so goddamn robust that, like, not even a grizzly bear can break into it. That may be something attractive if you are bringing this thing for camping. However, if you are, in fact, a camper, generally speaking, you also want something a little bit lighter weight. And this thing just ain't it. I mean, it is a lot heavier. 
And also, I don't really necessarily see how it's any more bear proof than the, uh, the blue cooler. I'd actually love to get a, uh, somebody's um, opinion on that in the comment section as to what qualifies a cooler as being bear proof. Because in my opinion, I mean, a bear is gonna have really the same amount of success getting in either one. All right, so I just looked up the details on the Grizzly Bear certification, and it's kind of interesting. There's this company or organization called the Interagency Grizzly Bear Committee. And basically you can, as a company, submit your products to them for testing and effectively if it can pass a live bear from I guess like breaking it and or getting into it then you of course get grizzly bear or bear certification. The pelican is in fact grizzly bear certified but considering the yeti tundra is as well and these are all just roto molded coolers I don't see why the yeti roadie and for that matter the blue cooler couldn't be like considered bear proof uh, as well like basically like they're all made from the same stuff so short of a bear I guess kind of like sitting on it another fun little feature that the pelican has is the ruler at the top that's of course great for people that are fishing or you know I don't know skinning meat and while we are on the subject of features the last two I want to talk about uh, both coolers have a built-in padlock thing right here what I love is that they both come with it on like the Yeti where you have to like basically mail order it out and equip it and they both have a built-in bottle opener. But where I have to give the Pelican cred is that the bottle opener is a little bit shallower on the Pelican, whereas Blue Cooler, you really have to like angle the bottle pretty, uh, pretty steep. And as a result, as you are opening the lid, some of the contents of the liquid might come out. So while both do have a padlock and a bottle opener, it is integrated just slightly better on the Pelican. All right, now on to the volume test and then the results of the ice test. Now, because I am feeble-minded in the Yeti versus Blue Cooler test, I did this very complicated thing to test the volume where I basically filled both coolers up with water and tried to see how many buckets it was. Anyway, it was pretty asinine. Today, what I'm going to use is just a tape measure, and I'm going to measure the insides of both and figure out whatever the volume is that way. All right, now, when I measured these out with the ruler, uh, it said that the Blue Cooler, and by the way, I plugged all the measurements into chat GPT because I have the math skills of a grizzly bear. Uh, it said that the blue cooler is roughly about 62 liters and the pelican is about 71 liters. Now I'm sure that there was a little bit of a margin of error there, but the point is is that the pelican is in fact just slightly more, uh, has slightly more usable space. Now with that said, the blue cooler is a little deeper and a little bit simpler shape. Those like wheel arches are just a tad smaller, whereas uh, on the Pelican, um, there's actually quite a bit more like noise going on. And those are some pretty broad wheel arches. So um, practically and usably speaking, I actually think that these things are a lot closer than what the measurement test would be. So maybe I was actually onto something with the whole like bucket volume test, but I'm, I'm not gonna bother doing that again here. Point is, is in real life application, uh, expect these both to be very similar. All right, it's been uh, four days, <clears throat> so we're gonna see what these look like now. Woo! It's mostly water, but there is still some ice chunks in there. Keep that going. Next up, blue. Also mostly water, but some ice chunks left. They're actually like neck and neck. Either way, they're both performing better than the Yeti did. All right. Last day, I think, of the ice. The, uh, yeah, Pelican is no more. Let's just see if the blue cooler's got anything left in there. And, yep, yeah, nothing in the blue cooler either. All right, so this is measuring in at about 42, 41. Oh, they're in about, all right, 42-ish, so. Oh, damn near about the same. Okay, that's, a, that's pretty fascinating. <laughs> Both coolers effectively measured the same in terms of ice retention, temperatures, and all that, so that was kind of interesting. Bottom line is, unless you need the five extra quarts and the bear protection, which, I mean, um, you know, I'd still say go with the blue cooler, but the Pelican's a fine choice, man. It's not a bad cooler, but it's just big and cumbersome unnecessarily and the blue cooler will pretty much do everything you need it to do um, 
with the exception of doing it lighter. Let's go ahead and wrap this test up. While both coolers are actually pretty decent and have their pros and cons, I am still going to go ahead and give the victory to the blue cooler. The reason why is because for 95% of people, the blue cooler is going to be good enough. Even if it's not grizzly bear proof, most people don't need it to be. And I'm also not convinced that it's like not at least grizzly bear resistant. And by the way, it is worth noting that the blue cooler has a five year warranty and the Pelican I believe has a lifetime warranty. But honestly, both of these coolers are built so well, I'm not sure you're ever gonna need to take advantage of either. So then what you are left with is a lighter, cheaper, easier to maneuver and navigate cooler with the blue cooler. The Pelican is certainly well made and it absolutely is bulletproof. Although I do have some curiosities about some of the material choices that they use. But ultimately, if you want the best kind of like cooler just to bring to the beach with your family, and frankly, even the best cooler to go like camping with and maybe even boating with and fishing and all that other stuff, you're gonna have a perfectly fine experience with the blue cooler. There's nothing wrong with the Pelican. I wouldn't discourage anybody from buying it. But for my money, I think the blue cooler is about as good as it gets. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. We hope this video was helpful. Please like and subscribe, and we'll be back with another video really soon.